Hello everyone, this is Meg Coker, Dr. Moorfield Lang's graduate assistant, and this is Tech 15. Today we're looking at Canva, C-A-N-V-A, which is a handy design platform online. You can see the URL, it is simply canva.com, and we are going to log in. Alright, as you can see, it saves your designs here. You have three tabs to look at, your designs, editors, picks, and design tutorials. When you're first starting, there is a great starter tutorial over here on the right that walks you through a good amount of different tasks to do. It also has things like if you want to learn more about how to use colors, fonts, uh, making things look more professional, a little bit of everything. Uh, as well as then the editor's picks shows different designs that are pretty nifty for you to look at for inspiration. And then last but not least, your own designs. Now one thing to note is that most of the time when you're working on a design, the little screenshot that it shows here is not actually where you are currently. So if you log on and see that it doesn't look like you remember, don't panic. It probably is saved. So you can see all of these individual designs here. It's easy enough to delete something if you don't like it. Thankfully, if you do delete something by accident, you can undo it just as easily. And then at the top here, you can see all the different types of designs from the more print-based, like flyers, to social media things such as Google Plus covers, Pinterest posts, Twitter headers, Facebook stuff, a little bit of everything. And it's simple enough to make pretty much any of these items. So you just select an item, it opens it up, you can start out with layouts over here, which are ones that you can mess with, or you can go straight to just background, text, search, as you can see here, it has a number of items that are free. The items that are not free, it is just a dollar each. And it's as simple as selecting and it applies. Whatever you wanna do, you can delete it easily. You can change the color. And then this little search box up here also lets you look for anything specifically. And there's your results. And again, thankfully, it's very easy to see what's free, what's not free, and you only have to pay for whatever you want to use when it's time to publish. Whenever you add something, just look over here, you can see that it auto saves as you go. And then whenever you're done, all you can do is tell it download or link. It provides a number of different ways for you to publish that. And then you are done.